So guys, I come back with the final product or final um look through of my custom my custom Corolla clay action figure. So let's get started. So pretty much. So guys, this is my last uh, part of this figure, and next I'll be coming up my X custom. Figure review is going to be a Deadpool or a Miles Morales custom, and well, yeah, I really, I really like this figure. So let's look at it. The articulation is pretty good. It has has a pretty good articulation. It's kind of soft, kind of a rubbery type of texture. It's pretty good. And it's really good. You should you should try this at home. Try and try to make this figure yourself. Focus. Focus. So pretty much yeah, this is really good for if you wanna make your own figures, if you don't have um any money or you or you just wanna try out something new, maybe explore your creativity. So yeah. So let's do some size comparisons. Why not? So this is the PS4. This is the PS4. The Marvel Universe two pack with Negative Man. So yeah, it's pretty. It's taller than that, but not as tall as a Marvel Legends. Maybe it is. Yeah, uh, this is the Far From Home Spider Man. Action figure. It's pretty tall. But you don't have to make it this tall, guys. I already showed you in the first part how I made the structure of this figure. Because I mainly used um, mini wood sticks. You match Basically, you're just long match sticks without the, but the part that ignites. I also used, you know, Corolla clay. The first thing I showed right here. And I also used the this blue for the blue that blue paint for the blue parts of the um, figure. Uh, sorry guys, I'm not I'm doing this unscripted. So yeah, this is the red I used for the white for the eyes. I used this white, and for the yeah, that's pretty much it. And I mainly used a black marker. I can't really find it right now. But I'll just show you what brand of marker I showed in part one. So, yeah. So I'm pretty, um, well, very proud of this figure. Another size comparison is my later custom I just show. I think I showed in the stop motion a couple of times. And this is basically it. Yeah, so I used this uh, for a Figma skill. If you don't know what Figma sketch figure Basically, um, you already know because I showed that in all my custom videos, the 2020 action figure review. So check that out. I also, um, let me put, you, put it next to my favorite custom so far, other than this one right now. My Miles Morales. So late for, so in the future, I used, I, I used a, both of these textures are used different socks. Uh, old socks I bought from, um, Dirt cheap? I mean, no. Uh, Dollar Tree. I painted these. These were originally red, but I painted them gray. Give them that reddish gray color. And I used a line down black sock for the jacket. So, yeah, I pretty enjoyed this figure. I used Miss Marvel's hands from the Captain America and Miss Marvel 2 pack. I also used Miles Morales Marvel. The Miles Morales Marvel, um, outfit, the Miles Morales Marvel's line, Ultimate, uh, Venom, Space Venom, uh, Wave, Miles Morales heads, I did make the eyes, did darken the eyes a little bit, to make them more, you know, re make them more realistic, so yeah, I'm pretty proud of this figure. I think I did really good on this one. So next one, I'm probably going to make Iron Man, um, Deadpool, or Miles Morales. 
but I am going to be adding uh, felt and clothing to my figures. I might be using real pieces of clothing. I might be using socks like I used on this figure. So, if you don't know what I used for the base for this figure, I used a um, Figma sketch, same line as this guy, Figma sketch um, female body. Used a little bit of um, masking tape to make it bulky, make it look more, you know, manly, manly, man-esque, or boy-esque. And pretty much I used the same red paint, and I used this black paint, I'm almost out, because I used most of, most of it on that. So, yeah. So, sorry guys for my battery. So, let me compare it to my oldest custom, well, I think my third Spider-Man custom of 2020. My so guys, yeah, this is my this is my um what was it? Oh yeah, this is my uh index card custom figure. I use index cards for those. I use craft wire. You probably wonder what craft wire I'll be using for all these figures. Let me show you. Real quick, I use this type of craft wire. Um, you can get this. For, I mainly find this. I found this at Walmart. I get my craft wire from Walmart at the art section. If you if they don't have the have this at Walmart, I don't know any other stores that sell this. So yeah, this is like ninety eight cents. So you can get these a bunch of these. I got like a lot. A lot of different colors, like a lot. I have more, got more, but yeah, I'll, I'll stress you enough for that. But yeah, they're pretty posable, so they're really good for customizing or even using them for uh, necklaces or putting them in capes that you want, custom capes. For Marvel Legends or custom figures that you might try these out on. So, guys, eventually, maybe in 2022 or near the end of 2020, I'm going to make an whole entire Legion. I'm going to make the Avengers, then I'm going to move on to the X-Men, then I'm going to move on to other, her other hero teams. So, just go in the comments of what figure do you want me to make next out of any design, index car design. Maybe even the Figma body design. But yeah, next thing I'm going to be doing with these. This action figure. Or custom figure. It's, pro it's a stop motion. But next, I'll be working on um, Deadpool, Miles Morales, or a villain if you want me to do that. So, I've never really made a custom vi villain. But I might try it. So yeah, let's get, so, I hope you like this playthrough, don't really know, but yeah, so the next video I'm going to be making is what if Deku at the Omnitrix part 6, after this video, see you guys later, bye.